Welcome to the historic fortress of Chinon, high above the Vienne River in the Loire Valley. If you're a fan of French and English medieval history, including the Plantagenets, Henry II and Eleanor of Aquitaine, Richard the Lionheart, King John, and later Joan of Arc, this should be on your definite list of things to see here. We parked from above and behind the fortress and walked down to it. We didn't go down into the village below, but it is a beautiful little village just sort of tucked between the cliff and the river. There is an elevator you can take down from the fortress to the village level, which we did not do. And I would love to hear about it if you've been, especially since 2022. There have been a lot of renovations, actually, since we were here. There is now a histopad that you can carry throughout the fortress and you can go into some of the restored and renovated royal apartments and some of the buildings here. Most of it is a recreation. Um, a lot of this was let to go to ruin over the centuries. So they've recreated these, but I do sort of love to imagine people like Eleanor of Aquitaine and Henry sitting in one of these window embrasures like this, maybe playing chess or arguing about politics. Since our visit, they have also added some amazing things in 2023. They have restored Henry II's treasure tower, which should be open as of July this year, and a collection of arms and armor from the Hundred Years' War with a new, whole new weapons room. They did have this one on display when we were there, which is a recreation of something like what Henri Du would have worn, and a child-sized set of armor, which I found interesting as well. But if you're coming after 2023, you'll get to see a lot more than we did on our visit. Henry II of England confiscated this fortress from his younger brother in 1156 and then gave it to his youngest son John in 1173. The Plantagenet family story is long and convoluted and amazingly interesting. It would make the best miniseries in the world if you want to read about them. It would take a lifetime to learn everything about them, but they're amazing. And legend has it that Henry II brought his young son and heir, Henry the Young King, here under something of a house arrest due to the rebellion that was going on in the family. And young Henry was able to slip away from Chinon in the night and gallop off towards Paris, where he joined up with Louis VII, who was incidentally the ex-husband of Henry's mother, Eleanor of Aquitaine. And so the story is very interesting. If you have a chance to look it up, you should. By 1189, Henry the Young King had tragically died at the age of 28, leaving Richard, who would go on to be the Lionheart, as the heir to the English crown. Richard was still in rebellion against his father Henry. He had allied with King Philip of France. Henry was here at Chinon. He was very ill. He was forced to leave here and meet with Richard and Philip to sign the, ple the Peace of Colombières at current Villandry. He then went back to Chinon. He had to be carried by litter. And it was here at Chinon that Henry learned his beloved youngest son John had in fact also joined the rebels. Henry died two days later on July 6th of 1189. By 1203, John was then king. And he actually had to send a mercenary band here to rescue his Queen Isabella from Chinon, where she was besieged by a band of rebels. You can explore the Plantagenet history and a longer French siege in 1205 via the Histopad when you come to visit. In the early 1300s, some of the leaders of the Templars were also imprisoned here as well when they were being persecuted and eliminated by Francis King Philip IV. Between 1427 and 1450, the French Dauphin Charles VII made this his residence, and it was here in the Tour de Coudre where a young Joan of Arc came to visit Charles and convince him to stand up to the English and reclaim his throne. She went on from here to join the army at Orléans, and she couldn't have possibly imagined where her journey and her future would take her to her historic glory and eventual sad fate at Rouen. I hope this inspires you to visit historic and wonderful Chinon and learn about the history of the place and the people who've passed through here. Obviously, this is a very light brushing over of the amazing history that has taken place here. Let us know in the comments if you visited the village or the updated fortress and some of the new rooms that they have opened up. Thanks for watching as always, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.